this way. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're not new. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I got these passion twists. These like short, really cute ones. And we're just gonna hop straight into this tutorial, not gonna waste your time and talk. Um, yeah, but before we get into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button, the notification bell. And if you really like me, you'll watch this video all the way through because one, it's not long, and two, you need to know how to get this style for the summer or for spring break if you're watching this and your spring break has not come up yet. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so right, okay, so right now my hair is freshly washed and partially detangled and I went ahead and used some Mayel conditioner as well as a little bit of this twisting cream. And I'm gonna be using a combination of this twisting cream and Gotta get the shine and jam. And the shine and jam, and a crochet slash lash hook, and a comb to get my passion twists. So the hair that I'm using today is Model Model. And they have this hair in a 12 inch length. And I particularly like this brand because I'm really able to like separate it pretty easily. Why am I still holding this? I'm able to separate the pieces really easily and it'll allow me to achieve the look that I'm going for. And I'm kind of going for like small passion twists. If you've seen my previous passion twist, short passion twist tutorial linked right here, they're, they're kind of like a little bigger and this time I'm going for something more natural, something like, is that her hair twisted up? Is it not? I don't know. So I'm gonna, I have three packs of this and I'm not gonna lie, hopefully it's enough because the beauty supply store is closed. And I'm going back home tomorrow. So hopefully three packs is enough. Also, I will be using this spring twist hair that I got from Amazon, which I will definitely link down below. And the difference between this one and the water wave, I'll show you guys right now. So the difference between these two is that this one has like a tighter curl versus these that are looser as you can see. What else? What else? Oh, and if you guys don't know, my try mirror, my trusty trusty try mirror, my last tutorial which was also passion twist, yes I am a passion twist fanatic, um, you've seen exactly how I use my try mirror to see all angles of my head as you can see my bathroom mirror is what's directly in front of me and this mirror allows me to get all the angles so but specifically for this style i don't really care too much about the parting because i'm going for like a natural look so the parts don't have to be crisp i'm actually going to leave my hair a little damp just so that my hair like kind of curls with the hair. Y'all. This is how much I have done right now. My boyfriend took the ring light. We have to drive back to Miami and I look like this. So. I'm gonna do here's a little hack <laughs> for the girls that do their hair they get it for the girls that don't don't or maybe you do which is good so I'm gonna take a hat Thank you. 
and it's black so it matches my hair. Also keeps it from getting damaged from rubbing up against the hat. Lip hat. So you guys know like those plastic packets that the hair comes in? I literally like shoved another pack in there with the hair still attached along with my spring twist hair and like the crochet needle, the scissors, the clips, and the comb. Like this is a whole bundle to go. So as you guys can see, I've had a, oh my God, am I having a stroke? I can't talk. <sighs> Okay, as you guys can see, I've had a bit of a location change. I am now back at home in Miami in my little sister's room. So, that's that. I have 99% of my hair done and I left this one piece to show you guys. But, and my nails are done and my lashes. <laughs> I just had a whole 180. I was about to say 360, but you know, that's a whole circle. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I do this last piece so as I've said I have my water wave hair as well as my spring twist hair which is the tiger curl and when picking up these two pieces you want to make sure that focus on the hair not my face you want to make sure that they're going the same way so by that I mean as you continue as you continue down the curl you want to make sure that they're going like the same direction. So you can see this is going, oh my God, can I like not focus on my face? That'd be cool. So you wanna make sure that they're going the same direction. So you can see as this one goes down the curl, it's going this way. This is literally the secret to passion twists. If you've seen other tutorials and you're like, my twists are not coming out like the next person's, it's probably because you're not matching up the curls or they're doing one in each direction or using a different type of hair, you know. But this is my passion twist secret I'm putting y'all on. So, I do have another tutorial on my channel where I have bigger ones, but these I wanted to be smaller. So you wanna be careful pulling it apart because it can and will not hesitate to not. <laughs> so just try not to do that and if you do, like I did, you can just cut out that knot piece. The pieces of hair do not have to be perfect as it's gonna curl up anyways. So pull apart your hair in half and that's for the water wave and the spring twist. Spring twist pull apart a little easier. And I'm going to line them up. Now my spring twist is a little bit shorter than my water wave just because the spring twist is like tighter. Now I'm gonna take my, so for the base of my braid, I am going to use a little bit of Shine and Jam, you know. Shine and Jam girlies, tap in. <laughs> use a little bit of Shine and Jam and I'm going to braid down this piece of hair about an inch. So I'm braiding down. Okay, it's about an inch, it's from like here to here. And now I'm gonna take my hook. I'm gonna take my hook, open the hook up like this. If you guys don't know how to use one of these, it's super simple. You just, there's a hook on it. There's a hook on it and you're gonna wanna open it like so, slide it in between the base of your braid. Take your hair. You wanna make sure that the spring twist is kind of like even-ish. 
and put it in the loop. Close the latch, pull it through, and you're gonna pull through one side of it so it's like anchored onto your braid. Now for the ones in the front, I did try to make them a little bit longer by slightly making one side longer than the other. But for the ones in the back, I didn't necessarily do that as much because they were the pieces were long enough. But getting to like the top of your head, um, your pieces do have to be a little longer so that they can give like a blunt look. But if you don't care, I don't care, you know? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna braid down. So I'm gonna take my hair and braid it down about like two to three inches. Now, in my other tutorial, I did not braid down as far. Dang, you're kinda. So in my other tutorial, I didn't braid down as far, but this time around, I did want like a really flat, natural, look at the top so I'm gonna braid down about three honestly I can't count I don't know how many inches that is that's a it's probably like two inches and then start to twist so I'm gonna split my natural hair in half one piece goes on each side and now I'm going to twist in the same direction that the curl is going so like I said the curl in these two pieces of hair is going this way down the curl so I'm gonna twist it that way so I take it twist it like so using a little shine and jam again and I'm just gonna twist it down so I use this spring twist hair um, in addition to my water wave hair now compared to my last tutorial um, just because I wanted like a springier twist and I wanted them to be a little more curly Sorry if you hear my sister and my mom talking in the back <laughs> So once you've Twisted down I literally just twisted it until I can't anymore. I'm gonna twirl it with my finger and This extra little piece here. I'm just gonna snip it off and I try to make sure that they're the same length on each side. So once I snip this off, it will be. I've got my scissors. So, snip, baby. Here we go. Got my little edges swooped, as you can see. And I can give you guys a little, I was gonna say 360 again, 180. Well, no, 360, <laughs> so you can see the back. So this is what it's looking like. These are what the parts look like. I did medium-ish. Well, I did small parting for these. If you're new to my channel, my small parting is nine rows in total, five on the top, eight rows in total. <laughs> so if you're new to my channel, my small is eight rows in total. This is the bag. And honestly, with this style, you can literally do so many things. My mom literally just walked past me and said, I look so cute in this. And she don't lie. So you guys will definitely look just as cute in this style. Um, you can literally do this with any hair type. But of course, if your hair is closer to this curl pattern, it might look a little more seamless or like, less frizzy for a while, but I definitely do passion twists on people with 4C hair, 4B, 4A, 3C. But if your hair is straight, I don't recommend these because it's gonna have a hard time conforming to the twist. But if you wanna try, be my guest. I'm not stopping you. 
yes guys these i'm telling you guys these did come out a few years ago during like spring break or summer or whatever but i'm telling you like we're bringing back every summer okay this is the summer style like so light these are so light i don't know if you can see them bouncing but like i literally my favorite style 10 out of 10 at least the way i do it <laughs> so if this video helped you guys out if you learned any tips if you think i'm cute <laughs> give me a like give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button i do upload tutorials diys if you want to learn how to braid i'm here for you and i'm glad that you clicked on my video and i really appreciate you guys we just hit 60 Hey, subscribers I love you guys so much honestly I cannot wait to keep growing we're on the road to 100k by the end of the year so if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed please subscribe but thank you guys so much if you have any questions comments concerns literally anything comment it down below and I'll try to reply back